Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, we'll be reacting to Carlos Owen honest message to women's studies major. Guys, let's get straight into this. And I remember being forced to take a feminism 101 class. It was called Women's Study something. And the teacher was just, I don't know, she stepped out of a feminist novel, you know? She had hairy armpits. You couldn't make it up. Hairy legs, hairy armpits. I'm not even really sure why that's a part of feminism. Like, why, like, I don't know, stick it to the patriarchy. Don't shave your leg. Okay, it's weird. It's getting weird. It's getting weirder. Yes. And this was one of those classes where I think I was maybe one of three people who didn't, like, choose to be in that class, meaning that the rest of them were, like, majoring in women's studies. Like, they were just Ooh. nodding, and they all looked like her. Feminism does today tend to have a look. Sure. You know, this modern feminism tends to have a little bit of a look. And part of it is believing that... You shouldn't have to be attractive and men created that. And that is exactly what I was being taught in this feminism class that basically virtually every system uh, in the world was created by men. And anytime women felt subjugated, you could always point to men. And she would talk about topics like, you know, I mean, it literally could have anything. She could have lost her keys in the morning and my professor would have been like, you know, who created the key? Hmm? Hmm, some guy named Alfred created the key. Very hard to find in the couches. <laughs> Men did this. The patriarchy. Ah, you know, Shit. patriarchy just hiding behind everywhere at all times. Yes. And I remember sitting in this class just thinking it was kind of weird because while I did really want to be a feminist because the word felt so good and it felt so powerful, I just didn't think it was plausible that every single thing that women were living through could be traced back to men. And there was this one class where we really got into it me and the professor, she hated me. Because I was always, even though I was a liberal, I was still Candace Owens, meaning that like I liked to just prod the narrative. You know, I just, I want to learn. I'm actually, if anything, I'm just really curious about things. I'm really curious. And you can make a lot of people angry just by being curious. Just by asking questions. Suddenly they freak out and a defense goes up and you're being called a name. And she called me names. She said to me in one class, we were talking about eating disorders. In this particular problem, she's talking about eating disorders, and someone did say it was because of the patriarchy, and then she said yes, and that's because men own the advertisement agencies. And that just never really passed the sniff test for me because I've been a girl, <laughs> and I know how it works. Mean Girls, the movie, that is real life. That is a documentary, right? <laughs> Women can be pretty catty to each other. Let's just be real, okay? We've all been the victims and the oppressors, ladies. <laughs> It's just the way women were wired more for gossip and we're just not that nice to each other in those angsty teenage years, I would say. And it's really because women are really insecure and kind of offsetting it. And so I just didn't, I was going, mm, no, a lot of mean girls, a lot of mean girls in the world. And I asked her the question, and you should have never done this, prodding the narrative, but I, I raised my hand and I said to her, Professor, I feel like we should maybe examine some other statistics. Like, you know, what is the percentage of people in America that are injecting themselves with steroids so that they can look big and buff. I bet that would be, I don't know, maybe 80% of the people that do that are men. And would that mean that it's because of women? Because of the matriarchy? Wow. <laughs> Her jaw hit the floor. <gasps> Who could ever say matriarchy? Who could ever <laughs> even suggest that women have done anything wrong ever? Women have never, ever, ever been wrong. This was like the early hashtag believe women. Right. It was happening in this classroom. Like, and I just kind of pushed back. I was like, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to insinuate anything. I just think that we should be thinking a little more critically here. Everything can't be the fault of men. And she said to me, Candace, it, it feels like you were sent to me from the men's department. I will never forget that line. It's such a wacky thing to say. Whoa. And by the way, why isn't there a men's department? There's a women's studies. Why isn't there a male studies department if we want to talk about equality? You know, yeah. but I didn't say that. I said to her, ma'am, I feel like I genuinely was just sent to you from the common sense department. <laughs> and I'm certain she never forgot that. Mm, mm. To be honest, even if I am wrong, and as a professor, you tell me that, I will feel you. <laughs> God, this is good. Like, I love the fact that she talked with the wisdom. And you know something I love about her, Charlie's game. And Jordan Peterson. Like, I love listening to people like this. People that are realists. Like, they talk based on life and based on the truth. But I feel there's always the truth. And there's no way you want to sugarcoat it. Like, the truth is the truth. There's there's nothing you can do, but like, the truth will always stand and the truth will always prevail. And the truth is bitter. And for me, I believe feminism is 
equal rights between men and women. And I believe this day it's there. To be honest, and I even think women get it easier than men. To be honest, women get a lot of things easier than men. Let's not start counting. And men' lives are not that easy and cold the way women think and perceive it to be. But like, I honestly feel like a kind of women have done a lot for the culture based on the fact that she has she's educating women to understand that you are not being bullied or anything like that. The same way she's educating black people to understand that they are not the victim. Like, it happened, but let's get over it. Like, we are free now. Let's take good use of our freedom. And same thing, like, she's trying to remove that kind of bondage mindset that people have and, like, know that you are free. You can fly if you want to. So, guys, I think about this video. Just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.